them to pest vlog. These bugs just don't know. DFTBA, today is January 24th, 2013. I thought we're in a desert. Coming into any year's coldest parts of the season, we begin to see a drop in outside cockroach population. The following footage was taken last year around September. For this property, these water meter boxes are these cockroaches' final stand. Take a look. I have just checked out like three water meter boxes, and all of them have been completely filled with some kind of bug. So we're gonna open this up and see what comes out. Wow. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is nothing. In the summer, cockroaches are populating so fast that species are competing for space. Last year, it looked like the brown banded cockroaches won the city. But hey, it's anybody's game out there. Today's topic is about none other than rats. Rats have never been a positive household name, but they are certainly that, a household name. Commonly taking refuge in attics, rats are agile, sneaky, cautious rodents. Their dirty, hairy appearance and large yellow teeth are enough to make any homeowner check his attic, then check his attic twice. While situations differ, inspections are most often the same. Upon inspection, we come across several signs of rat infestations. The following job was no exception. So all this is... <clears throat> this is all stolen? Yeah, this is all teared up insulation with rat poop all over it. This is what they were taking while they were living up here, building their nest with it. As you can see, it's the perfect environment. That's all of it. Now that we identify the rodent, we trap. Rat traps are strategically placed based on the activity we find. Areas that we believe to be high traffic, traps will be baited and set. If you have ever held a rat trap next to a mouse trap, you'll clearly see the difference in size. While mice behave in similar ways to rats, the same methods can't be used. If a rat got snapped on a mouse trap, that's just bad luck. But if it gets snapped on a rat trap, there's little to no chance of survival. This is why proper identification of the rodent problem is imperative. Sometimes, however, catching the rodent isn't a win. Addicts can be so comforting to rats that deaths of rat relatives don't change their patterns. Finding the point or points of entry from the roof or ground level into the attic is tough, but not impossible. Sealing off those areas closes the door to your attics for rodents, telling them you have no vacancy, forcing them to live elsewhere. Since rats and mice teeth don't stop growing, they have to constantly gnaw to keep them from growing larger than their mouth. This gives them the ability to chew through most materials if desperate enough. Take this peanut butter container for instance. This lonely mouse was so fat from peanut butter he rarely left the pantry. What a bum! Let's just say the customer had to go grocery shopping really bad after this mouse was out of the house. I hope you enjoyed the new pest vlog and more pest control information to come soon. Stay tuned. In your name, I'll see you soon. And as always, don't forget to be awesome. If you like the vlog or you have ideas for future vlogs, post me a comment in the comments below or check me out on these social media sites.